Taco scientists have published an exciting new article about potassium tantalate. I'm going to visit the first author Michele Reticcioli at the University of Vienna to ask him a few questions about it. Michele, you wrote this Nature Communications paper about potassium tantalate. Why did you choose potassium tantalate? What's so special about it? The surface of potassium tantalate is polar and hosts a considerable amount of uh, excess charge. And this charge can be functionalized for a different number of applications. So we would like to study how this charge is, charge is distributed on the, on the surface in order to be able to then control it. What was the unanswered question that you tackled in your study? Up to now, the excess charge on these polar surfaces was considered to behave as an electron gas, so to be very dispersed, homogeneously actually dispersed on the surface of the, polar, of the polar material. What we find out in this paper, actually, in this study, is that uh, the, char the charge would uh, prefer to localize strongly on few sites on the material or distribute uh, like uh, a charge density wave, so in a wave-like manner. Were the experimental results uh, surprising to you? At the beginning of the study, the experimental results from Zishang Wang were actually very, very surprising. They show that the charge is distributed uh, in a different way that everybody would expect. It shows some very localized spots that then we found out to be polarons and to have uh, a wave pattern that then was recognized to be a charge density wave. Can you briefly explain the theoretical modeling that you did for the paper? In order to investigate the electronic properties of this surface, we uh, used the VASP software that is developed at the University of Vienna and can allow us to perform density functional theory calculation. These are very demanding computational-wise, so we had to use uh, the powerful infrastructure of the Vienna scientific cluster. Uh, can you also give a brief outlook uh, on future applications, maybe in catalysis? In the TACO collaboration, we are studying this type of materials and also the interaction with localized charge for um, a wide range of uh, possible applications. One of them is catalysis. This localized charge, um, we, we believe, could have a strong impact on applications in catalysis. We will um, like to continue to study them and find out whether it's possible to control catalytic processes by uh, controlling the properties of this localized charge. Thank you very much, Michele. Thank you. I said church instead of charge, <laughs> but it's okay. Um. Ha <laughs>